Happy Tuesday. Today we're doing our April version of fouled up cooking in the kitchen. Today I'm gonna do a twist on shrimp and grits, except I'm not even gonna use shrimp. The twist is I'm gonna do chicken breast. We're gonna do our chicken breast in our standard breading procedure, flour, egg, breadcrumbs, except the breadcrumbs today will be coarse cornmeal. We're gonna pair this cornmeal crusted chicken breast with sweet corn and bacon grits with cheddar cheese. I'm going to use two different artisanal cheddars. One is going to be my Irish cheddar from England. The second one is a sage cheddar. This is also from England. I have a sweet corn sauce. We have our fresh corn, of course. Our fine cornmeal, because we want it to dissolve faster into the corn mixture, as opposed to the coarse cornmeal that we're gonna use on our chicken that's gonna give us that nice crunch. And then once we've finished all of the grit process, we're gonna finish it with our cheddar cheese and my special barbecue sauce. Far be it for me to sh tell you how to make your family's barbecue sauce that you've been working on your whole life, but this one is my bacon maple glaze barbecue sauce. So what do you say we get breading and get started? I'm gonna take my chicken breast. This is an airline cut chicken breast. And I'm going to uh, use our regular breading method, except cornmeal instead of breadcrumbs. So we go into the flour. I'm only doing one side because I want a contrast of textures in my chicken. So we're gonna bounce off some of that flour, just enough to hold the egg. Dip it in our egg, drip it, and then pop it in our coarse cornmeal. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on this side of it. Tap that in there. Make sure that the chicken is coated. We're gonna go right to our saute pan. A Little bit of canola oil. Here we go. We don't wanna saute it too hard or too fast on the top of the, on the, top of the stove because we're gonna cook it and finish it in the oven. That size piece of chicken breast is probably gonna need about 12 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit short of 12, just so that the chicken has a chance to rest. Second part of our dish, while our chicken is cooking, we're gonna make our bacon cheddar grits. Now, grits only take a few minutes to cook once you bring all the liquid up to a boil. So, we don't wanna to get too ahead of ourselves because it will be dry. We don't want dry, we want creamy grits. I've taken some bacon and onions and I already started cooking it. We're gonna to add to our bacon and onions some fresh, right off the cob corn kernels. We wanna saute the corn in the bacon fat. I'm gonna add a cup of heavy cream, a good pinch of salt, and then, Kind of a secret, but not really. This is my corn sauce. This is a process. After I take the corn off the kernels, I'll take the cobs, chop them up, and make a stock out of it with water and saffron and a little bit of heavy cream. And then I'll take the kernels, what's left of the kernels, and I'll puree them and add it to this sauce so that it gives it that nice consistency of thick. When you put your mouth on this and close your eyes, all as you see are cornfields. After all that, we're gonna take it and put it into the pan. Ta-da! We'll take our trusty whip, or whisk, however you wanna pronounce it. We're gonna take our fine cornmeal, and we're gonna slowly add it to our hot grit mixture. Little bit at a time. Little bit at a time. Little bit more at a time until we get that fantastic consistency of grits. See that consistency of the grits? Starting to look like grits. The only difference is my grits got bacon and corn in it. So it isn't taking it to another level. So now that we have our desired consistency, we're gonna finish it with my cheddar cheeses. We're gonna finish it with our cheddar cheese off the heat. See I'm off the heat? and just kind of fold it on in there. 
Great. Let's check on our chicken. All right. So now, see our chicken? It's almost cooked. You see that? It's still a little bit raw. Let's just take a look at it. See that nice, golden, beautiful cornmeal crust? I don't want to flip it over yet because I want the two textures of chicken. I want that nice, crispy corn crunch, and I want this moist and juicy flavor of the meat. All right, see that? See all those juices coming out of that chicken? That's because I never flip it. All the juices get rise to the top. I'm gonna turn it over just so you can see it. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. It's cornmeal crusted all the way through. You have two different textures going on. Now we're gonna let this rest. Again, we want the inside to catch up with the outside. So what do you say we put this all on a plate? So we're gonna take a nice little dollop and we're gonna make a well in the middle of it. That well is gonna hold my barbecue sauce. So that when I put this on the plate, you don't see the barbecue sauce right away, but then all of a sudden you cut into it. Wow, 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 surprise. Just a little bit of barbecue sauce. You don't wanna overwhelm the chicken dish and take away from the sweet corn grits. See all that, that chicken juice? That's going on top. So let's say we just cut this in half on a bias. We're gonna put the bottom half on, and the top half to follow. And there we go. Now I'm gonna take that juice that I had left over, I just pop it in there. Sweet corn crusted chicken breast with bacon cheddar grits. <laughs>